name's Eric Miller. I'm 17. This farm's been in my family for over 100 years. Uh, I'm Spencer Sage. I'm 19 years old. Uh, I work out here on the farm, and uh, it's not very easy. It's been the family for three generations, and I uh, plan on taking it over after college. I'm Tyler Young, 19. This farm's been in my family for four generations. Prices are uh, going down, and fuel's going up, and it's just... Uh, it's getting really hard to uh, make a dollar out there. About everybody I know has got a second job to help support the rest of the farm. About two years ago, I moved away for about three months. Being away from the farm just killed me. I had to come back. It's the only thing I know and love. Roots. Roots make us who we are. They are stabilizers of potential for what we can become. We can never progress until we establish a secure root system. We'll never be able to succeed until we test and confirm their depth, because they ground us during the storms and nourish us during famines. As I look back, scenes of driving the tractor, milking the cows, and baling hay represent my roots in my heritage, much like it represents our country's roots. The history of the United States has depended and revolved around agriculture. Today it seems like farming and ranching families, like my own, are the last of a diminishing breed. Throughout history, farming and ranching have stayed true to competition and the value of the free market. Other industries have fallen to the power of money and large corporations, depleting competition in that industry to only a few prime competitors. When industries begin this buying out process, monopolies are just around the corner. Agriculture is such a major player in the U.S. economy, it would be detrimental to have a couple of CEOs in charge of everything. In media all over the world, there has been numerous occurrences of dangerous strains infecting food products. If agricultural America continues to go corporate, more and more products will be made in the same processing plants. So when one commodity is infected, all of the other processed foods will also be infected, leading to mass epidemics and even greater recalls. Rural communities still impact the overall economy, not on the same scale as large cities, but they still pump money into the nation's economy. If we were to eliminate the smaller farming operations, their incomes and outputs would also be taken away from America's GDP, decreasing it and the overall economy. If corporations ruled over family farms, unemployment would also rise. Technology accompanies larger scales, and the need for manual labor would die, leaving many people who specialize in agriculture jobless or forced to work under someone else. A major key that most farmers look forward to is being able to run their own schedules and being the bosses of themselves. Many other supporting businesses, such as small banks, farm supply stores, elevators, and seed dealers would also be without jobs, as corporate agriculture would look to big stores for all their supplies and needs. History is the best profit of the future. And looking back, agriculture has been directly linked to the state of the economy. In the Great Depression, the commodity markets greatly impacted our nation's economy as a whole. In the spring of 1930, the selling of agricultural futures broke the dam government had tried to build and grain prices sunk like stones, taking the stock market with them. Just as in the 30s, the stock market will follow the trends of agriculture because it fuels the economy, and eliminating small farms will give the industry to corporations. In the past, government has done a fairly good job of keeping out of the farming industry. In times of chaos, such as the Depression, the government tried to help and started the Agricultural Adjustment Administration, which tried to raise crop prices and offer better loans to farmers. As long as government offers minimal aid as subsidies to private businesses, the market, the market can function freely. But when government uses too much control, America's free market system weakens. Our country was founded by hardworking pioneers trying to earn an honest living and support their families by living their dreams of freedom, enterprise, and opportunity. We have grown up with these values instilled in us, and when the trustworthy family farm goes, so will the heart of the true American dream.